So in this module, we will look at linearly separable Boolean functions again and we will try to make some more statements about them. Okay. So what do we have do? So the guiding question that we have is what do we do about functions which are not linearly separable? And let us see one such very simple function. Can you guess what function I am going to talk about? All of you are paying attention in the first lecture. Good. Right. So here is the XOR function. Now these are the set of inequalities that result from the XOR function, I hope. Right. Now let us see the first condition implies that W naught should be less than 0, second condition implies this, third condition implies this, fourth condition implies this. Just looking at this can you tell me can you find a configuration for W naught, W1, W2 such that these inequalities can be satisfied together? No. Right. Because 2 and 3 want you to be greater than minus 1 minus W naught. And when you take an addition of that, it has to be less than minus one. So that is not going to happen, right. So you see a contradiction. So this is a simple Boolean function which the perceptron cannot handle because it is not linearly separable. If it is not linearly separable, there does not exist a line. If there does not exist a line, you cannot find the line, right. So and in fact, you can look at it visually, right. So these are the red points for which the output should be 0 or 1, and the blue points are the points for which the output should be. 0. Hey, we need to change this. I think we were using blue as positive and red as negative. And you cannot just draw a line, right? There is no way you can draw a line such that the blue points lie on one side and the red points lie on the other side, right? So, and it is a simple two input function, right? So, it is not that I have taken a very contrived example, okay? And most real world data is not li linearly separable and it will always contain some outliers, right? So, here maybe you have some data where you are trying to say that people which live in this part of the world belong to a certain uh, or maybe people who live or work here have a certain qualification. People who work in this company may have a certain different qualification, right. And there might be some outliers, right. It is not that it is always going to be very clean. So now what do I mean, uh, okay, and this is not, it is not necessary that the points will only be outliers. In fact, there could be a clear case where there are no outliers, but still you cannot find a line such that you separate the positive from the negative. Can you think of such an example? Good, right. So this is clear data, there is no outliers here as such. I mean it is just saying that everyone who lies within this boundary has a certain characteristic and outside that boundary people have a different characteristic, right. And there is no outlier here, but you cannot separate this data with a line. So all functions that you deal with will not go are not going to be linearly separable. So you have to work around those, right. And while a single perceptron cannot deal with this, we will show that a network of perceptrons can indeed deal with such data. So that is where we are headed, okay. Uh, so before going there, we will discuss some more Boolean functions in more detail and I will try to see uh, what kind of non-linearly separable Boolean functions are there, right. So first of all, how many Boolean functions can you design from two inputs? How many can you design? 16. Looks like a good number. From 3 inputs, 256. How many of you understand this? Okay, let us see. So let us begin with some easy ones that you already know, right. So these are 2 inputs, x1, x2. What is this function? Always off. The other extreme is always on. And I have already given you the answer. F16, right. So and then you have the AND function, the OR function and then some other functions, right. So why did you reach 16 actually? Because with two inputs, you will have these four values to take care of and each of these are again binary. So you actually have 2 raised to 2 raised to n, right. So for three inputs, 2 raised to 2 raised to 3 would be 256, right, okay. Now that is the easy part. Of these, how many are linearly separable? I love it when you actually stare at it and, and seriously try to find the answer when you can't really do that, right. <laughs> so turns out all of them except the XOR and the not of XOR, okay. So for the two input case, there are two functions which are not linearly separable, okay. For n inputs, how many functions would be not linearly separable? It is an arbitrary, okay. N is not the answer, you are not going to disappoint me not n, okay, but what is the answer? 
yeah. okay so the for uh, n inputs we'll have two raised to two n functions of these we don't know how many are going to be not linearly separable that's not a solved problem although i encourage you to go and find the answer i'm looking for a goodwill hunting kind of a moment but uh, yeah so but all it suffices to know is that there exists some which are not linearly separable right and that everyone agrees right? that there exists some right and as n grows probably that number will increase and so on but it's not known exactly you can't write it as a function of that okay okay so what we have done so far is uh, looked at boolean functions how many boolean functions can exist and of that we just have concluded that there would be some which are not linearly separable so we'll end this module here